And as I said in the intro, this is prime real estate up in this area. We don't really want the about, contact, disclaimer and privacy policy page here. It is just a waste. So what we are going to do is set up our pages that are more interesting to people and are also our target pages that we are trying to rank really well for in the search engines. First, we'll go ahead and I'll show you about the custom menus. So come back over to your pages inside your dashboard. We're inside pages and this is all your pages. Now what we're going to do is come across to appearance and come down to menus. Click on menus. And what we're trying to do here is eventually get these pages down on the side here. Okay, that's what we're trying to do because we need them. We know that for legal purposes and to do the correct things on our website, we need them, but we don't want them in full viewing area. And then we're going to come across and you'll see it appear here in your location. So click on side navigation, save, scroll down under pages and now we're going to find the pages that we only want in the side navigation. Select all the ones that you don't want as target pages at the top. Now select add to menu, save menu. So save that menu now at this point they won't be in our side navigation yet. Okay, so now we're going to come and add another menu. And this time we'll name it Top Navigation or Top Nav for short. Create the menu. This time find Top Nav here, save and in the top navigation, we want our target pages. So this is the one that we've created. Add to menu and save menu. Now you'll see the one page appear here. And so now we'll come back and refresh the website. Hit refresh. And there is your page that we've just put under top navigation. Now another thing that you can do is uh, depending on the theme that you've got because they really do all vary. Some you'll find um, don't have even any tabs up here and you so you can create the custom menu like I just showed you. But what you do need to be mindful of is if you have pages up in this section you do not want them down in your sidebar as well. I've discussed this earlier and that is about duplicate content on your site. If you see that your pages are appearing here, what you will need to do is come back and go into appearance and then widgets. What we're going to do here is right click and we're going to open this link in a new tab so that we've got both um, both pages open on our admin site. Now if you hover over edit and look down the very bottom down here, I'll drag this down, see the link at the bottom and it says post equals 83. Now we're looking in this section right here where my mouse is now. So there it is, post equals 83 and action equals edit. So the number is what we're after. So it's number 83. Disclaimer page is number 87. Privacy 89. Okay. The page you would want excluded would be this one from your sidebar because if you can remember we want that in our top navigation. That would be a target page. Um, this is the one we'll want to exclude. So hover over and it says 102. And so you'll grab the pages widget, you'll drag it across and we want to exclude, remember, page 102. 
If you need to ever exclude any more pages, separate by a comma as it is telling you here. Once you're done, click on save, close, come back to your site and refresh. And you'll find that only the pages that we wanted down in the sidebar are there present. And up the top, we're starting to create our target pages. Okay, so this is where you can build up your target SEO pages to drive traffic from your posts. When you create your post, and like I showed you in the intro video, this is where you can uh, put your link and link straight up here to these pages so that people click through to these pages to make affiliate sales. Okay guys, 